Hi, I'm Elise Bowman. Welcome to Anime Adventures. We're in Lubbock, Texas right now at Anime West Texas, an all-anime convention. So stay tuned. Okay, I am here with voiceover extraordinaire Eric Vale. We know you do so many characters. Tell us what you're best known for, as if everybody doesn't already know. Well, these days, Shigaraki from My Hero Academia, but mostly Trunks in Dragon Ball series, as well as Sanji in One Piece, America in Italia. I also play Canada, but nobody cares about him. Oh, sure, everybody cares. It's Canada, come on. Nobody cares about him, nobody cares about him, nobody cares about him. <laughs> well, and we are pretty lucky, like on GT, we were two of the three lead characters. We were, we were. Everybody, uh, and everyone hated it. Not everyone, again. What's with all the down, like Debbie Downer? If it wasn't you, I'd be, <laughs> I'd you. be real about this, but it's easy, it's, you're, you're like a sister, I can just poke. <laughs> anyway. You know where to poke me to get to me? Right. Stop poking. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, so what I, and maybe you've done interviews and told this story, but what I do know is you knew early on that you wanted to be an actor. How old were you? Ten. 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 That is very early to know what you want to do and then you followed through. Yeah, it's rare. I mean, most, most of the time people spend a long time figuring out what they want to do. Yeah. But... Oh, when I was 10 years old, I knew. I was like, I just want to be an actor. It's that simple. And how did you know? I don't really know how I knew. Now, summer of 1984, uh, I lived in Beaumont, Texas, and there wasn't much to do there at the time but go to the movies. So I spent all that summer going to the movies, and that year, all these movies came out that were so formative for me, like um, The Karate Kid and Footloose and Ghostbusters. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was the big one. And all these movies sort of back to back, and... I was like, I want to do that. I don't want to do sports. My parents just had me in so many sports that they thought that's what I was about. But I'm, you know, artsy. Artsy fartsy? Yeah, little, really <laughs> fartsy, yeah. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Well, tell me your favorite thing about doing this job. Uh, my favorite thing about this job is that I get to have more time at home than I would if I had a, you know, a nine to five job. I get to help uh, homeschool my daughter, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I just, I get more time with my family, which is you know, why I do everything anyway. Yes, well, same here. I love that I have more time with my family and I don't have to do the nine to five job because I've done that. Yeah, it doesn't work for me, yeah. you know. Me either. No, I don't like it so much. <laughs> Now, outside of work, you do charity work. You do a lot of work with autism. Tell us a little about that. Well, my daughter's autistic. That's part of the reason we homeschool her. But, um, you know, it's once I knew that's what was happening in our lives, and it became important to champion it. And she's 12 now. And at the beginning of her life, or at least when she was around three, four, five, and we first started to know that autism was reality in our lives, the... Um, what I, I felt to the need to go around and talk about autism awareness and let people know what these people are like and how to communicate with them and how to understand them a little bit better. But both fortunately and unfortunately, autism's become so prevalent that everybody knows somebody. So most people understand autism awareness now. Um, and now my job is, is just to, you know, push this down the road and to take, you know, take it past awareness into um, normalization. And if somebody wanted to find out more about autism and the, exactly related to you and what you support, where yeah. would they go? Uh, just go to my website, it's therealericvale.com. Mm -hmm. It'll have access, you can find all of my Twitter and Facebook and everything on there, as well as a section for um, autism uh, awareness and what not. A couple pictures of my daughter on there, I think. Oh, good. Because that was going to be another question. What are all your social media handles? We covered that. It's all right there. It's mostly Eric Vale. It's pretty easy. Pretty okay, easy. pretty easy. Now, probably everybody knows that you're a writer as well. You worked as a writer at Funimation. But we got to work on a film together. He wrote a short film. 
That's right. right. I forgot about that. I know. We worked on a short film. I got to be the actress. He yeah. is so tall. Yeah, I know. I've, it's been a long time since I've watched that. I need to watch that again. I know. I need to watch it again, too. Yeah. It's fa fantastic. He did such a good job. Uh, you can find all of my short films, including this one called Soul Possessions. Mm -hmm. There are three short films. There's Soul Possessions. There's one called Interstate, another one called Opal White, and all of them are found on Stream Now, streamnowtv.com, okay. I think. I think it's .com. But yeah, so check that out. It's pretty It's pretty fun. It's run run by a buddy of mine, and it's a great, great website. Yeah. yeah. So do you have a story that you want to share that maybe you haven't shared about voice acting or something cool in the booth? Um, as far as, like, stories, I mean, most of the stories I share, I've shared, unless they're brand new stories. And uh, my brand new story is the thing that happened last week where... Uh, I've got a certain, I don't know if you were just in that panel there, but a certain degree of fans, I'll put some big air quotes around fans, who uh, started sending me emails uh, threatening my life and that of my family. So I... Seriously? Yeah, so I had to go file a police report and yeah. Whoa, so, no, I did not know that. I wasn't, I couldn't come to the panel, so I didn't hear that story. It's, uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard because you think like, hey, all I want to do is act. And that's all I do is act. I play anime characters. You know, that's what people know me for. And then some people take it way too seriously. Oh, so that is actually scary. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing that nobody, you don't consider. You don't consider that, hey, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be an actor, and that's going to cause people to hate me more than they hate anyone on earth. Yeah, it's weird. That is weird. I'm sorry. It's okay, but, you know, you asked for it. I did ask, yes. Yeah, so, okay, so here's a question. If you weren't an actor, what would you be doing? Ah, uh, probably uh, chef. I love to cook. Love to cook. So, if not that, the only other thing that I've ever been good at is, um, of all things, geology. Geology, really? I aced every geology course I've ever taken. Uh, I just understood it, and I really liked it. In fact, my geology teacher in high school was like, I, I, he pulled me aside after, he's like, see me after class. I'm like, okay, you know, and I saw him after class and he's like, you need to do this for a living. Like, you're the only student who understands this that I've had, that he said, the only kid who understood it that he had had in like 10 years or something. Whoa, really? So he was like, you, you need to major in geology. And yeah, I should have listened to him. <laughs> you know, those guys are so rich. Geologists make so much money. They do? Yeah. Oh, well, you missed your calling. I know, right? Anyway. Well, if this doesn't work out. So anything else? Any final, like, something that would totally surprise us? Um, no, not really. Okay. No surprises here. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I surprised you earlier with the uh, horrible things people are saying to me online. Well, yes, you did surprise me there. Yeah, not the kind of surprise that I want to hear for no. you and your family, but... Sorry. Oh, well. Okay, well, that's all for us. We're out of here. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm so glad you're here. I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel so I can do more of these types of interviews. Leave me some comments. Let me know what types of questions you'd like me to ask in the future. Click like, and let's get a conversation going. Thanks again.